my senior year of college, my best friends and I had had a falling out over a guy that I didn't need to be dating, but at the time I was just so adamant that it was, you know, this is what I'm gonna do. So I didn't have my best friends, and I didn't really have any, like, solid group. I spent a lot of time in bars. I made all of my friends in bars. So that's what we had in common. We had alcohol and partying. I was like, how am I gonna have fun? Like, because what is fun if not these people and this party world? Like, who's gonna hang out with me? At the time, I was like, nobody from church is gonna wanna really be my friend if they, if they know half of the stuff that I've done, right? What is love if not the physicality of love? Because that's all I thought would keep a person around. That's the honest truth. I chased after every guy that paid me attention in the worst way possible. I went to a bar downtown on Broadway with a guy I didn't really know. And he was extremely intoxicated. And so instead of ordering mixed drinks, he ordered straight liquor for me. Like, I was drinking straight whiskey. And I drank several straight whiskey on the rocks. And it's really strong. If you drink them really fast, bad things happen. And so I drank too much and I spent a couple of hours, I guess, or at least an hour in that bar's bathroom being very sick, being taken care of by women I didn't know. And then that guy left me there. I could have been hurt, I could have been taken advantage of, and I was like, something has got to give. This isn't fun anymore. I did all of the things that I thought I was supposed to do to have fun, and yet I am miserable. I realized, okay, some things in my life need to be different. Some things in my life need to change. That's when my stepmom told me that I should visit Cornerstone. I came to church here, everybody was really kind. I was greeted and welcomed, and it was just really warm. And then I met an usher whose name I don't remember, but he was so sweet. And I told him I was new, and he was like, come sit with me and my wife. So I sat next to his wife my first Sunday, and I just remember sitting in, like sitting through the sermon and listening, hearing all of the things I needed to hear and didn't want to hear. And I realized like this is this is what's gonna save my life. I felt peace and love and like grounded. I felt grounded. I didn't feel like I was riding this roller coaster anymore. I realized that my self-worth didn't come from what people said about me, it came from what God said about me. I just felt good. <laughs> I felt content. I never thought that there would be any time in my life when I would feel like going out drinking wasn't the best option. Let's see what God has for me over here in, in church and with these people who ended up being really nice and not judgmental <laughs> and actually did want to hang out with me. I think that's the most beautiful thing is that I realize that I want this relationship more than I have ever wanted any of that world. And I, I feel strength and peace in that. And he loves me no matter what crazy stuff I've done. So.